Year 7 Chemistry. Welcome, are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you are going to learn about particles in the different states of matter. Particles. In a solid the particles are regularly arranged and positioned closely together. In a liquid the particles are randomly arranged but remain closely together. In a gas the particles are randomly arranged and spaced far apart. These diagrams show the arrangement of the particles in a solid, liquid and a gas. Solids have certain properties. Solids have fixed shapes. Solids have fixed volumes. Solids cannot flow. In a solid the particles are arranged regularly. This means that solids cannot be compressed. The particles have nowhere to go. The bonds between the particles hold them in place so no matter where the solid is placed the solid does not change shape until it is melted. Liquids have certain properties. Liquids flow and take the shape of the container that they are in. Liquids have fixed volumes. The particles in a liquid mean that there is a little space between them allowing the particles to move past each other. This allows the liquid to flow. The particles in liquids are still close together so they cannot be pressed closer. This means that their volumes do not change. As the liquid particles are further apart there are no fixed bonds between them and so they are not help in place. This allows liquids to take the shape of their container. Gases have certain properties. Gases have no fixed shape or volume gases can flow. The particles of gases are far apart this means they can be pushed closer together and so the volume of a gas can be changed. Gas particles can move past each other and so gases can flow. As the gas particles are far apart there are no bonds between them and so they are not help in place. This allows gases to take the shape of their container.